Hey everyone, just a super quick video how you can connect curves very precisely with the reference image in the 3D view. So I will explain to you in a second what I mean and what my problem was and it was definitely a little heated um, discussion here because I was super impatient because people did not understand what I wanted. And um, But thanks to Bunny Viking, thanks to Oaken, thanks to Nick and thanks to... Kio, we have now that I want to share with you, like, because it drove me crazy. I couldn't figure that out, but now it's so much easier, everything. And we have three amazing ways. And I'm basically just doing this video for myself, but hopefully uh, you find it helpful too. So my problem first is that I wanted now to connect with this side door curve, a curve with this wheel thing here, right? But the problem is I did not want it. So what literally everyone on YouTube on Plasticity Car Video, so I'm not naming any names, but they are doing that the wrong way, which I did not like, which is not precise. They just create a line, a tangent, right? And they snap somewhere, right? And then they just rotate all the time around and just take this point and with control click in the 3d view snapping that but that's not precise this uh, this is not as i how i want to work so the problem is also that you can't just snap here and drag a tangent so that's the whole point right so the first point is tangent so what if if i want to snap this curve exactly at this curve so in the reference image, we have this black line, right? And this black line is meeting somewhere here. But if I snap it here in the front view, so where I see the reference image, somewhere here, right click. If we go now in the 3D view, it's not snapping to the curve and that drove me so crazy. And uh, But now we have three amazing solutions and yeah. So solution number one is that you uh, create a point, control point curve, and you snap to this curve and you drag out your tangent, right? And now you go to the front view and you go over with the mouse where you want your point exactly to be. So somewhere here and now you just press shift because now shift created some of those uh, supporting lines, construction lines. And one goes exactly here through this point. So we have this intersection. So now we have connected that with the tangent but also snapping to this curve and exactly here where this black line meets. So this is solution number one. Solution number two, we do the same thing, control point curve, snap to this point, drag that out tangents, and now we go again to the front view, right? Because we have, we have to know exactly where the curve has to snap. And before we click on here, we just click on the X, so we go out of the orthographical view and we can pan around and we can zoom in, but we are not allowed to rotate. So if you snap now, right click, you are again snapped to the curve. So this works. That was solution number two. And solution number three is again, control point curve and just the other way around. So you just start in the front view in the reference orthographical thing view, right? And you go again and you create your first point at the curve where exactly you want it. So let's just for, so just an example, let it be here. And now you go again to the 3D view and you go to this point and you press shift again. <clears throat> so you have again your construction lines and now you search for the right one. So the tangent one and you go back to your point, right click. And this is how you do. And thanks for those four people here <laughs> for guiding me through this um, discussion here. But now we have three amazing ways. And now car modeling is even easier, even faster, even better and so much fun. Leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. And if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality, complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions, all broken down into simple steps. So join 
join the revolution of 3D modeling in plasticity, check out first link in the description box and enroll now to experience the power of plasticity like never before and unlock your true creative potential today. First link in the description box. See you in there.